Hey everyone, welcome to a Thursday Ink United Ho Facebook Live. I hope you're all having a great afternoon. Today we are going to play with the Market Tote die. And we are going to make the cutest stinking project you have ever seen. Well, I think so too. I love a good 3D. I absolutely love making 3D things. And this one makes it so cute. Hey, Rachel, Sarah. Oh, it seems so weird to have Sarah watching me instead of being here. All right, you guys, let's get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm going to show you everything that we're going to do. All right, give me just a second to get it all straight. And that's definitely not straight. Okay, I hate it when I watch these back and it's not straight. Okay, so we, like I said, we're going to use the Market Tote die that is in the new Spring Into Summer Fun Stampers Journey catalog. So this is the die, this is what it looks like. And in the catalog, you will find it in the front under the Hostess Exclusives. So $150 order or $150 party, you can choose to purchase this one for $4.95. $150 is my whole Fun Stampers Journey quarterly minimum. So that's pretty easy to do. Plus we get 20% off. So if you wanna join us, make sure that you do it this month. Um, okay, so this is where it is. It's a Hostess exclusive. It's called Market Tote. Like I said, $150 order or party, and you can have it for $4.95. So that's the one we're playing with today. And I'm going to show you the project that we're going to make. I'm going to make this little basket out of it. So you cut out two of them and a handle. This one has little Ghirardelli chocolates in it. And it is so cute, super cute. All right, so I have this gray one. I'll lay them down here for just a second. And then at my team meeting, I did this one for my practice and then we made the gray one. And then here is a gray one with river, which is made out of river stone is what the gray is called. And this one has a little bow on the front of it. And then I made one out of our silver mirror paper. Can you see that? Yeah, look how sparkly shiny that is. Super sparkly. So this is the mirror paper, silver mirror paper that we have that I used for this one. You can re seriously see yourself in it. It's very reflective. So these are some that I've made. So today we are going to make a red one. So I did a little practice run and I decided to make a red one with silver handles. Tell me in the comments where you guys have seen a basket that looks like this, that's red with a silver handle. Come on, we all go shopping. You gotta know. No? Come on. <laughs> I know the comments are delayed. Well, it's Target. I can't wait forever for the comments to come up, but this is a Target bag. They all have red ones with these little silver ones. Well, at least they do here in Idaho. All right, so we are going to take the Market Tote die and we're gonna run one through on the die cut machine. I already have one cut out, so I'm just going to do one um, live. So we'll put it on here. So this cuts the basket and then these two pieces right here are the handles. So let's get this in here. Okay, this out. Set this guy down here. And then when we take the die off, it has all of these little holes in it. So I just flick it over the garbage can and they all come flying out. Or you could just do it and vacuum them all up. 
Okay, boy, that was a delay and a half. Somebody just finally said, Mariah just finally said Target. I don't know exactly how many minutes delay there is on, on Facebook Live. Does anyone know? Because there are quite a few. Okay, now we are going to build the middle. And sure enough, I forgot my paper cutter, so hold on. Kind of off today a little bit. My, uh, We took Daphne, our puppy, in to be spayed uh, yesterday, and she's had lots of little complications. And so we, I took her, had to take her back to the vet today, and they gave her a bunch of medication because she's just been throwing up all night long. I feel like I have babies again. It's kind of been a long time since I've been up all night long. Okay, so for the middle of the basket, I cut this piece of cardstock that is two and a half by five and a quarter. Right? Yes, two and a half by five and a quarter. And then we're gonna move it up here to the scoring blade, and each of these long sides, I'm just gonna score it at a quarter of an inch. Hey, Rhonda, how are ya? I'm coming to see you soon. All right, and then you're gonna turn it the long this this direction, the long way, and you're going to score it at one and a half. And you could measure it and count backwards, or you could just flip it and do one and a half at both ends, which is a whole lot easier. Okay, so now we have to do a little bit of cutting. So in between this, where this score line intersects with this score line, we have to take a pretty wide chunk out, so a pretty wide V, because we're gonna fold this up on an angle and we just don't want any paper to um, bulk it up or be in the way at all. So we're just gonna cut them both off. Just like that. Okay, just like that. Okay, now we're gonna fold on each one with our um, crease tool. Okay, turn it over and do the exact same thing. All right, and now we are going to fold on this, these right here on the sides that we did. Make sure it's nice and creased so that it folds up real nice and tight against your basket. Okay, so we are going to fold it up like this so that it's the same angle as the basket. Now, this little basket is very narrow right here, and we don't want any cardstock to show through. It's very narrow on the side. So I scored it at a quarter of an inch so that I could actually hang on to it, but it's way too wide to put on the basket. So I'm going to pretty much just cut this in half. Just hand cut it. Doesn't really matter if it's straight. We're gonna glue it on. So that it's really about an eighth of an inch. You're gonna do that on both sides. Like I said, it, I can't fold over an eighth of an inch. It's just too tiny for me to get straight. So I started with a quarter of an inch and now I'm just gonna hand trim it because it doesn't really matter what it looks like on the inside. Okay, get all of these little pieces out of the way and we're ready to get started. So I'm gonna use liquid adhesive today because this is super tiny. So I'm going to take a little bead of, of liquid glue, liquid adhesive, and put it along the edge and adhere this little basket right against that score line. Make sure it's really, really, really secure. Okay, same thing. I'm gonna put some adhesive right here Sorry, I have to do it off camera. My eyes are old and I have to get up close to see it. All right, same here. We're gonna put it right up against the score line. Yes, Celia, I know, because I love containers too, of all kinds. Okay, so now we have our basket on there. Those two. So now we're gonna put some adhesive on 
and we're going to fold up the sides. So this time, I want to be able to manipulate these to get them in there nice and tight. So I'm actually going to put my adhesive on the basket. Does it matter? No. I just don't want to get it, get it all over my fingers. So I have my adhesive right there, and I'm just going to fold it up right up against the angle. See that? And do the exact same thing to the other side. Put a little bit of glue on the basket itself, and then hold on to it for a minute until it's all set. That's what I like about the liquid glue, is you do have a little bit of time to rearrange it if you need to, or if something moves, but then once it's set, oh boy, is it set. Okay, same thing on this side. Only I'm gonna really tuck this in first. I'm gonna put my adhesive on the inside of the basket. I'm gonna go ahead and put adhesive on both sides at the same time and then just hold it up, fold it up, secure it right there on the edge. See, this is why we trimmed it down to about an eighth of an inch so that nothing shows through on the basket. You don't want it to look tacky. All right, so I'm just gonna hold this for just a second. Make sure it's on there. And now I'm gonna take my crease tool and I'm just gonna press on each of these to make sure that it's pretty secure, because I know it's wet. I'm just trying to hurry so that we could do this together. All right, so there's our little basket. Just like that. Pretty cute, huh? Pretty cute. I love it. Okay, so now I used our silver mirror paper, and I cut out a set of handles. And then I cut an extra little strip Ooh, I hate it when I get glue on this. Um, an extra little strip that is about a little bit less than a quarter of an inch, and then I, I scored it just enough to get a mini glue dot on it. I don't even know how much it is. And then this is two inches, and then I just scored it and hand cut it again, just enough to attach a glue dot to. In fact, this one's probably a little long. All right. So now we're going to use mini glue dots to complete the handle part. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a mini glue dot on the edge, out back side of this, and I'm gonna use the second one in and the second one in um, as my guide. So this one, two, one, two. And I'm just gonna put it at an angle, because I know it's gonna go at an angle, but I'm just gonna sit it there. Don't really, really, really put it down until you are ready. And then I'm gonna put a mini glue dot on the back of this one so that I can put it on the handle, but I'm gonna put one on the front too so that I can hook these two together. So I'm gonna put one on the back, and then I'm gonna put one on the front. Okay, so I have one on the back, and then I have one on the front. So for the one on the back, I'm gonna use my guide and that second little square right there. And then I'm going to take both of these and adhere it together and then squish these. So there's one set of handles. So now we're gonna turn it over and we're gonna repeat the exact same thing. I'm going to put a glue dot right here, but again, don't don't squish it down yet till you're ready. And put another one on the back side of this one and the front side of this one. And put it up there. And now I'm just gonna overlap these two and attach them on that glue dot. Once those are attached, then I'm gonna pinch this down. So now we have handles on both sides. So I'm gonna take this little strip that I made. This basket is two inches wide, so I made my strip two inches wide. If you make your basket fatter, you need to make your handle fatter. Skinnier, same thing. So I'm gonna put a glue dot on both sides of these that where I have it folded. Oh, these little papers are so hard to get off. Okay, and 
I'm going to attach it right on the back side where I connected those two together. See that? And same here, right on the back side. And now we have our little basket. So cute. All right, so you know we have to have some little details, right? It has to be adorable. So I am going to use our Fashion Silver dots. And they come in three different sizes. And the hardest part is getting them out of the package. Wow, I guess. We'll just take them all apart. And these have tiny little glue dots underneath of them. So I like to pick them up with my scissors so that I can kind of scoop up underneath of that glue dot. So I just take it up with my scissors, make sure I have the little glue dot underneath of it. And I'm just gonna put it right here, like it's just a little bolt or something through there. See that? It just happens to be the perfect size. They must have known I was gonna need these. And so there's the second one. Just a little finishing touch. And put two on this side. And one more on this side. I suppose we could put one there too, right? Let's do it, let's see what it looks like. I didn't think about that earlier. But I suppose there has to be a little bit of a bolt or a screw or something to hold that on. Huh, look at that, we just screwed it on. Okay, and put one on this side as well. Super cute! Sorry, I do get a little excited with myself. All right, so before we move on, I'm gonna show you the other ones again. So here is the red one that we just made. This is the one that we did for my team meeting last night and the night before. This one is out of, sil uh, what did I say it was? Gray, Silverstone maybe? I don't know, somebody will tell me. This was my practice one that I just did out of Hazelnut Blend. And then I did a super pretty one, a silver shopping cart. And I need to go back and put some details on him too. Gosh, I'm gonna run out of all of these tiny ones and I'm not gonna have any use for the big ones. So aren't they adorable? This is the Spring Kisses flowers that come separate from these leaves. I just tuck these little leaves under them and then I put one of the silver fashion dots right there in the center. This is uh, from our set of paper roses. They come in a package of three different sizes and there's three different sizes in the pink and three different sizes in the red. I think three or four there's a lot in there all right so we're gonna set these aside oh and here's the other gray one where I just put one of our little bows on there these bows come in different patterns in grays in the package just something different on that one okay so aren't they just so cute yes I had to text Sarah today and I'm like sometimes I just get so excited with myself I don't even know what to do all right so then I was determined to figure out how to make a berry basket out of this. If you guys have been following me on my blog for a while, you know how much I love berry baskets. I did a whole tutorial on them before there was ever a die. And I am gonna make one out of this. Okay, so this is what I did. I started with a piece of cardstock and this one, I just had the red out, so that's what I used today. So this is two and three quarters by two and three quarters. And I'm just going to cut at a really severe angle and a really severe angle and just take that corner all the way off. It's gonna be underneath, it's not gonna show, so don't worry about it. Well, actually, you know what? We could probably just go like that. Duh. Okay. So again, we are gonna line this up with the bottom of the basket and the quarter of an inch is too wide. So before, um, so I'm gonna fold it while it's a quarter of an inch because that's just about as much as I can hang on to. So that's why I scored it there. I'm gonna fold it up. 
and then we're gonna trim it. We're just gonna hand trim it back down, just right in half, so now it's about an eighth of an inch, so it doesn't show through the little rungs in that basket. And the last side. Okay, so the, um, wow, what a mess. Okay, so this, like I said, just so you know, I cut it like this because that's really all, all the, the width that that is. And you don't want it showing through, okay? So then I cut out four baskets. And I did exactly like I did with our little, with this basket. And I just glued it right to the score line, just like that. Now I'm gonna put these together, so one of these dudes has gotta go. So I'm just gonna cut off two of them on two different sides. So I'm just gonna take that one off right at an angle. And this one just following the angle of the basket. Yes, Celia, this little berry basket would be adorable to make Mother's Day brunch favors for a table. Oh, that would be so cute. Okay, or weddings or anything. Can you imagine how many cute things you could put in these? Oh, watch out. You might see a few of these on my blog. Okay, so now we have all four sides up, so, or, or glued on. So now how are we going to attach this? There's nothing to attach it to. So what I did is I just took a long strip of cardstock and it was wide, it was like wide so I could hang on to it. And I scored it at a quarter of an inch and then I cut it at this quarter of an inch. So it's actually a half inch, scored at a quarter of an inch down the middle. And so I fold it in half because remember, gotta have something to hang on to. So I just folded it in half all the way down and then I cut it in one and three quarter inch pieces because that's how tall this is. So I just literally just went cut, cut, cut. Okay, now once again, these are too big. So we have to cut them down. What does that say? I don't need that die until now. Sorry, Shannon. Hey, I knew the instant I saw that, I needed it. Sometimes I just want things, but I really needed this one. Okay, now these get pretty skinny, not gonna lie. And this is the last one. All right, so now we have these that are scored in the middle. We're just gonna open them up. This is what they look like. Pretty easy. All right, I'm gonna get all of this stuff out of the picture and we're gonna get busy. So I'm gonna take some liquid adhesive and put it up against the sides of these baskets. It doesn't matter which one you start on. It doesn't matter where you start. I'm going to do two sides at a time. And again, I'm using liquid adhesive because it just, sticks well. Okay, so when I put this on, I have to remember that the score line has to go in the middle so we can put them together. So I'm gonna fold this in half and I'm just gonna line it up with the edge right there. Same here, when I open this, the score line has to go in the middle so I'm gonna fold it and just put this right up against the edge. All right, and then just cut off anything that's hanging over. We hate a hangover. No one likes hangovers, right? Okay, so these technically will open and we will adhere them on the other side. So I'm gonna put some adhesive on the other side of the, this opposite side. We're gonna do the exact same thing. 
open it up so you can see where your score line is and you know your score line has to attach them both. So fold it back together and just put it right against the edge of that basket. And make sure these are really down. Normally I would give it just a little bit of time to dry. Open this one so you can see which direction it's going. And then fold it back up and glue this right on the edge. What do you think? Is this too many pieces? Too much work? Would you make one of these? You could get an assembly line going. It would all be good. Okay, and then again, I'm just going to trim this off. All right, now let's hook it together. So we'll open these all up. And I'm going to put some liquid adhesive right there and we're just going to bring these two together and just hold on to it for a second so see how that works on the inside right there where can you see that at I don't know if you can see that it just opens up and it just fits right on the inside right there. So they can't, you can't even see it. You don't even have any idea it's there. See that? Okay, and then I'm gonna put adhesive on both sides of this guy. And I'm gonna put him up and hold it. Give it a second to adhere. And then I put some adhesive on that one already, so I'm just going to adhere that one together. What color would you make these in? These are cute, so cute. You could make some little paper strawberries or something to go in them. Gosh, I haven't made paper strawberries in years. All right, and then we have one left. So we're just gonna put some adhesive on the inside. Sorry, I have to hold that up so I can see it. Oh, gross. All right, here we go. And put this last one together. You know, Shannon, I think if you were gonna do these for wedding favors, you would just have to have one heck of an assembly line going and a glass of wine, pretty sure. All right, and then I'm just going to make sure that this is down here really tight. See how this guy has this hanging off and he doesn't because we cut it? Well, I can't really adhere the other side down like this because I'm going to bend that. So I'm just gonna move out of frame and hang it off the edge of my table and then catch it, okay? So now we have them all together and you can't even tell that we have all those little things on the inside, except for that one. It's trying to come off because he's not dry because I was hurrying. Okay, so what do you think? So you have a berry basket, you have a market tote basket, or a target basket. Aren't these sweet? You could even make these out of clear window sheet. So much fun. All right, so here's my practice one and my real one. So these are two, uh, the bottom is two and three quarters by two and three quarters, so it measures, once the scoring line is gone, it's two and a half inch square. So this basket is two and a half inches at the bottom. So if you see it in the palm of my hand, it's pretty tiny. That's why I love it. Okay, so those two. And then if you just joined, I'll go ahead and show you the one we did today. Here's our sparkly one, the brown one. Here's a gray one with the flowers. 
and a gray one with the bow. These little bows, let me take this off and I'll show you. They come on their own little glue, uh, foam square, foam dot thingies, and you just adhere them on. Aren't those sweet? And then you add two berry baskets, and it's all made with the market tote die, which looks like this. Isn't that cute? So you do need two of these if you're gonna make a basket out of them. And then it is in the Spring into Summer catalog, it's a Hostess exclusive right here for $4.95. It's on page six. All right, you guys, you have a great day, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.